Hello, this is Barrett, and today we're going to take a look at why you should be buying Chilling Rain while you can. So, first thing first, I want to show you the list of the top cards in this set. And as you can see, we do have some pretty big hitters, with the Blazinkin and the Galarian Moltres being the two main chase cards of this set. And then they're followed by the Secret Gold Snorlax. But nevertheless, as you can see here, we do have some pretty cards above $30 and $20, as you can see here. That's when we start to go below $20. But nevertheless, if we sort, not by high to low, but best selling, as I like to do here on the channel, if you hadn't noticed already, we can see how both the Galarian Moltres and the Blazinkin are selling, and the cards that are selling the most at the moment, at least based on TCG player data, are the most expensive cards that there are in the set. So obviously this justifies why they're so so expensive. It's obviously the simplest models you can make when it comes to basic economic and price making is supply against demand. And then obviously you can add all your var variables onto the model, such as the pull rates, if people want this car, so forth and so on. But as you can see here, exp relatively expensive cards, not talking about hundreds of dollars or even thousands, but what I consider expensive for a modern set, they are selling. So that's a sign of strength that people are interested in this set. And that obviously should reflect on the price of booster boxes. Again, remember, the most important thing is supply against demand. And that's why I'm going to show you today a really important thing that I noticed when it comes to booster boxes. But before we do so, if you enjoy the channel, if you enjoy the content, I would highly appreciate if you could help me hit 100 subscribers by the end of 2023. And obviously, don't forget to check out my video if you want to get more insights on the channel. Last but not least, I started a Discord for both Europeans and Americans, so if you want to hop in, you'll find the link in the description of this video. So back to Chilling Rain, what I wanted to show you is the booster boxes. Now, as always here on the channel, if you're not familiar, I like to take a look at both European and the American market, and to do so, I'll both look at card market and TCG player. Now, what I want your attention on is the number of booster boxes available on card market. Now, even if you're American, I'll tell you why you should care about the supply in the European market. So first thing first, how many boxes are available on car market? English booster boxes of Chilling Rain. Well, I did the math and it comes down to 69 booster boxes. Now, what I think is important is how many, and this I made on a video which I'll link and it should be popping up right now as I'm talking, where I analyzed Chilling, Fusion, Brilliant, and Astral. And last month, we've had 94 booster boxes on car market. So almost 30 boxes are gone in a week. Now, have they sold? We don't know. People just could have taken them off the listings. We, we truly don't know what happened. But it's highly possible that they actually sold. So again, supply against demand. Supply is decreasing, demand is still there. What should happen? Price to move higher. And if you do take a look at my previous video on Chilling Rain, you can see how prices are moving higher. So there's only these three outliers here, 150, 155. Now, if you're American and you're not familiar with the car market, these prices do not include shipping. So shipping, it depends on the European country you live in. It can be between 10 to 15, even up to 20 euros especially for booster boxes as they are much more heavy than a single card. So if you pay attention to it, not only we have 69 booster boxes of what is relatively a newer set, but what I like to say is where volume is, so where we have the most booster boxes is between 170 to 180 euros. So here, as you can see, we have the most, and that's where we have multiple listings. Now. In car market, as I've been brought to attention by viewers, thank you very much. You can only list more than two boxes if you're a professional seller. Therefore, if you have this icon here next to your name, if you're not a professional seller, you can only list two booster boxes at a time. But then again, let's say you're an average Joe, 
that collects or invests in booster boxes. I mean, you might have a case, you might have three, four booster boxes. I doubt you're gonna have 20, 30, 40 booster boxes like a physical car shop might have. So here you, you find a lot of listings, but these are in Switzerland. So if you're in the Europe European Union, you're gonna have to pay customs. So again, only 69 listings as of December 17th, and most of them sit between 170 to 180 euros. Whereas last week, if you look at the previous video, we're still below 160 euros. So again, remember, supply against demand. As you can see, supply is diminishing because people are buying. Demand is still there. Prices must move higher. Now, earlier, I talked about why you should care about this if you're American. Now, first of all, if you're American and you go into G Player, you see how booster boxes are cheaper, which is a very common theme between the European Union and the US, if you weren't familiar. And we do have, as you probably saw in my Excel, a little over 100 booster boxes available, which is actually more than we had last month. Now, that's not surprised. The American market, when it comes to Pokemon, is much larger than the European market. This is definitely a sign. The fact that over a month, we've had an increasing number of booster boxes. As I also mentioned in the previous video, we can only see the number of listings. We don't know how many boxes people have and when they're gonna have them hit the market. So, it's not a surprise, the American market is much larger than the European Therefore, we're not surprised that there, there are more booster boxes. Why are there more booster boxes? Well, there's more people interested in them. So again, supply against demand, I'm going to say to oblivion, if there are more people interested in chilling rain, but in Pokemon in general, there's going to be more supply into the market because demand is higher. But at the end of the day, prices, yes, they are a bit cheaper in the US, but they're still going higher. As you can see here on the one year chart, they're moving higher. Now, one thing that I like to mention also before I get to why I think you should care about the number of boxes in the European market if you're American. One thing that I've seen on YouTube here by other, let's call them pocket tubers, much large, I mean, I'm no one, I don't I don't even have 100 subs, but us, I've seen some videos where people looked at single cards and they're like, oh, this is up 8% in a month, this is up 7%, 12%. Now, I want to take a look at the Galarian Walters here. So if you take a look at the early chart, this is down and it might have found a bottom, we don't know, we'll see. But if you take a look at three months, this has gone from 117 to 125. So if we do the math, 125 minus 117 divided by 117, it gets you to almost 7%. So almost roughly a 7% gain over three months. Now, let's be realistic. Let's say you bought it here and 117 was the amount you bought it for shipped. Are you going to sell it here? Now, what's the commission fee on TCG players at 10%? Is it less than 10%? I know that on car market is 5%. So let's, let's say even it's just 5%. 124 times 0 0.95, which is what you're going to be left with, is 117. So you made no money. And then you're going to have to ship it. So if you ship it, you need a, for this kind of car, which is expensive, you're going to need some protections. That's going to be, what, one, two dollars? So yes, the price has gone up. But realistically, are you going to be able to sell it in a profit? No, you're just wasting your money. So I don't really see the point in making, I mean, it's, it's nice that we see price gains, but realistically speaking, you're not going to make any money. Are you? I mean, let me know in the comments what you think about that. Again, I do think that it's interesting and needs to be brought to people's attention, but I don't really see why someone would sell at that point when there's no profits to be made. Now, back to what to booster boxes. Now, why you should care about the European market? Well, it's simple. And we've seen it with older boxes. Now, Chilling Rain right now, obviously, is still largely available in stock. But let's say five years from now, how many booster boxes are going to be available at Chilling Rain? 
We don't know. What's the price going to be? We don't know. Is it possible that it's going to be higher than 150? Yes. Could it be 300, 500, 800? Yes. So in my opinion, when it gets past the $500 or euros, it's the same mark. So let's say Chilean rain five years from now is $500 a box. And there's like not as many boxes available as of right now, which is also makes sense because that's why it would go to $500. Again, supply against demand. That's that's all you need to know, really, if you want to keep it basic. If you're American and you want to strike a deal and there's some European who is willing to sell it for 400 you're going to buy from them. It's risky because it's international shipping and all of and everything else involved with that, but you're going to pay less than what you pay here. Let's say that you can't find it for any cheaper than 500 on the American market, but you find some one in Spain, in the Netherlands, in Germany, who is willing to give it to you for 400, then you save 100 bucks. And yes, you need to factor in shipping. Let's say you saved 70 $60, you still save money. So that's why I think you should care about the European market as well. And vice versa. If I am European, and I see that, which is actually what tends to happen the most. And I see that five years from now, a box in the EU for, of children rain is going for 600 euros. And I can find it on the American market for $450. I might get it in the American market. So I think that's why people should care, not as much when it comes to right now. Well, right now, I'm not going to buy one from the US and I'm going to have to pay lots for shipping and then customs. But if it's five, eight, a thousand dollars, well, at that point, if I can save money, I might consider doing so. So last but not least, let's take a look at the available cases for chilling rain. And we're still there. Still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, just like we had last week. Again, four thousand euros. Don't think so. Lowest listed is for thirteen hundred, but this guy has no feedback. And then in the American market, cheaper as always, less than a thousand dollars, steadily going upwards, which is what we would want to see. Last souls were for below. A little below, as you can see here, yesterday, nine hundred dollars, which is actually pretty a pretty good deal in my opinion. And again, here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and three, which makes it ten. Three thousand dollars? Don't think so. Nevertheless, these are pretty close to each other. So yes, cases are still there. We haven't looked at eBay, but uh, the fact that on the European market. This is going down by 30, almost 30 in less than a month, I think should ring a bell, should make you want chilling rain. And even because if you look at Brilliant uh, Fusion, Lost Origin, but I mean, Lost Origin is newer, but Brilliant Stars, you have more boxes available right now. Fusion a bit more, I think double. So you should really pay attention to, to the supply of this box. Now, as always, let me know down in the comments what you think about chilling rain. Do you think it's buy? Do you think the pull rates are too tough and people will not want to open the set in the future? Or do you already have your closet full of chilling rain cases? Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.